hello welcome back to my channel today in this video I am making you a chicken and pumpkin soup the reason I'm making soup is because of all these people that are sick with the coronavirus now a lot of you are at home and a lot of you have families at home and you want to give them some chicken soup to help them to feel better well I am going to show you how you can make chicken soup from scratch to feed your family you can put exactly what you want in your own soup so come along with me today and I'm going to show you how to make um, chicken soup from scratch okay now let me show you the ingredients that I am going to put in my soup I wish I could make this soup for Chris Coma from CNN that's my buddy I love Chris Coma and you're sick Chris if you ever see this video I wish I could bring some of this soup for you to make you feel better but anyway this is my pumpkin here that I'm gonna use if you do not have pumpkin you can use butternut squash they're all in the pumpkin family that's fine I'm, I will be using this I will be putting some potatoes this is a sweet potato it's white on the inside this is also sweet but this is called yams and this is yellow on the inside I'll be using some of this and some of this we have our regular English potato I'll be using some of that I will be putting some cabbage in my soup I will be putting some okras in my soup I don't have here carrots but I'll also be adding carrots to the soup and over here I have some chicken this was chicken quarters and chicken legs that I cut up and I already cleaned it and seasoned it and I will be putting this in my soup okay so we're gonna start from scratch listen I said everyone is at home we are quarantined we're all home we cannot leave the house if you have these things in the house you don't have to be in a rush take your time go ahead make some soup you can make a big pot of soup that can last you for a couple days maybe two three days depends on how big your family is and it's a nice healthy soup that we're gonna make okay so I'm gonna peel all this stuff I have some water on it's already boiling it's like five cups of water I put on but that depends on how I, I right now I am the type of person that cannot cook a small amount even though it's just like two of us here right now I end up cooking a big amount and then I may just give some to my in-laws or something like that so let me peel these potatoes and so on and then I'll come back and show you the next step my pumpkin and I peel it and wash it cut it up dice it up so now I'm gonna put this in pumpkin cooks very quickly so the reason I'm putting this in so that it can become like a puree it can cook soft I want it to cook soft and almost like melt away in the pot so I'm, so this if you look over here you'll see that there is this is all that I have in the pot right now is this pumpkin I'm also gonna put the chicken in so the chicken can start to cook with the pumpkin so let me get the chicken the pumpkin is in there small pieces now I'm gonna add my chicken in my chicken is in there and I'm gonna add a couple spices in there this is fresh thyme I'm just gonna drop that in there if you don't have time it's okay you don't have to use it but it gives it a good flavor if you have that I'm also gonna add an onion in here all right now I have here some onion and I'm just gonna add the onion in there I give it a stir so so far I have the pumpkin that I dice up I have onion I have the chicken and uh, chicken and a piece of thyme in there and that's all that's in there right now I'm gonna cover it and just let that cook let a pumpkin and the chicken cook in there and I'll add the other stuff in later so as soon as I'm ready to add the other stuff I'll come back and show you the next process hey guys so this is the um, pumpkin that I have in here and the chicken so what's what I'm gonna do sometimes I do is I mash the um, the pumpkin a little bit it's gonna give this soup a color and a body so I just mashed that up 
and I just and this is all some people say nice put in a blender and blend it up I don't need to do that you see it start to give it a color just mash it up like that with a, with a spoon because it's cooked soft so just mash it like that and that's about the rest is gonna cook down so that's good okay that's it and now over here I have my other vegetables that I cut up so I forgot to show you breadfruit but this is a piece of breadfruit that I had I cut in here this is a sweet potato and I have another sweet potato right here two different types of sweet potato I have English potatoes here I have some okras that I also added in there some celery and I have some carrots so all of these vegetables now I'm going to add to here these are already washed in here and make sure I wash everything before I put it in here so put them all in there and then just give it a few more minutes to cook and I'm going to show you the next step that I'm going to take while this is in here and uh, give it a good stir so you see you have all these vegetables in here you have your chicken so you have good chicken and vegetable soup here I'm gonna add to this a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper so I have here a cabbage head and I'm gonna put a piece of this I'm also gonna add a piece of cabbage head to this I put this in last because the cabbage cooked up really quickly and um, I'm gonna use half of this I think this is good enough because there's a lot of stuff in that pot and this this is what I'm gonna use so first we before we use this I'm gonna wash this really good since I cut it on this board I'm gonna rinse this board off And I'm gonna cut this down. I'm just gonna shred it. And I'm gonna add this to the soup. And then when I add this to the soup, I'm gonna come back and show you now what seasonings I'm gonna add to the soup that are also to help flavor. The only thing that I am adding to the soup is I already added some black pepper and I just add a little salt. So now I'm going to taste it to see what it tastes like. But those are the only two things that I'm adding to the soup. They say always taste your food to make sure um, you know you have the, the right amount of salt in there. It tastes good but it needs some more salt. You don't need any other kind of seasonings in there. You don't need to put anything in there. Just a little pepper and salt. And that's all I'm adding to this. The chicken has already given it a good flavor. You have all those vegetables. You don't need a lot of stuff in there. I have onions in there. Look at that. Look at that. All your vegetables in there. Look. Celery. You got your carrots. You got... Um, onions in there you got the different potatoes you got your chicken you're good so let me taste it one more time and I'm gonna add some dumplings and I'm gonna show you how to make the dumplings perfect perfect doesn't need anything else in there Just I already added everything that need to be added to that and the soup is actually finished but I'm gonna add some dumpling to it. Dumpling does not take very long to cook. So um, I'm gonna add the dumpling and usually when you're making soup, dumpling is the last thing that you add. So in here, I have two cups of flour. I have a uh, half a cup of sugar. I have a little cinnamon, a little nutmeg. I'm gonna pour a little bit of vanilla, just a little vanilla. I, had, I added a little salt to that. And I am going to add a little water to it 
and then I'm going to stir it up. And this is how you make your dumpling. Sometimes I make it by adding all that stuff to the water and then um, pour the sugar water in here. That's also another way too, to do it. Remember, if you all have seen my bakes video, this is how I made my bakes. I didn't add the vanilla and the cinnamon to my bakes. I just added the nutmeg. But this is how I added the bake. And you will see the only difference here is the texture is going to be a little different. So now for bakes, you're going to use your hand. And of course, you're going to make sure your hands are clean. It's like, and I'm just going to kneel it. And if it's too soft, you can always, you can always add a little more flour to it. But this is how you kneel it into a ball like this and keep kneeling it. Some people put baking powder in the dumpling. I don't because I like it hard or stiff or what you may call it. And this might be a little bit too soft for some people. You can just add a little more flour to it. You can just add a little more flour. You see that? And you got your dumpling. I'm going to put it here so you can see it better. Now, with the dumpling, People roll the dumpling differently. Some people make the dumpling in a ball, right? I don't. This is how my grandmother did her dumpling and I do it the same way my grandmother did it. She rolled her dumpling like this and she just dropped them in the pot, just like that. So, I like to do what the old people used to do. Some people still roll it like this and some people Okay guys, so now I'm going to drop in my dumplings that I just made. You just drop your dumplings in. People say if you do, if you make soup without dumplings, people from the islands that don't want to drink it. So if you make soup without dumplings, it's not soup. You have to have dumplings in your soup. Okay, so I'm going to let my dumplings stay here for a few minutes maybe like 20 minutes or so and cook okay guys this is a big reveal our soup has finally finished chicken vegetable soup look at it looks good the dumplings are in there these are the dumplings right here you have your chicken your potato everything is in here a nice healthy soup so i'm gonna go ahead and plate it out I have a dish here. I'm going to put some soup in here. And that's your soup, guys. That's a lot of guys. Now our soup is finished. Look at it. Don't that look delicious? We have everything in there. This is good for a sick person. Let me say to you, I just got a call that my sister-in-law in New York, her family has um, just got some test results and they have coronavirus. This thing is serious, guys. Take it serious it is serious okay I wish by making this soup I wish in my heart that I can just drive around to everyone that need a bowl of soup today that is sick I wish I could go around and give them a bowl of soup unfortunately that's not possible for me to do but I'm telling you right now to look at the ingredients that I put into this soup it is all vegetable soup with chicken you can make it and if you have a loved one someone that's ill 
make some soup do not give them any canned soup with all that sodium please you see the only thing I put in here was a little salt and a little black pepper and that was it it was flavor from the chicken and the other herbs that was in here make some soup give it to them and help them to feel better okay thank you so much for joining me I look forward to seeing you in my next video until next time please do not forget to like subscribe and share Bye-bye.